humbleness leads to exaltation. If you desire to be exalted, you need to learn first how to be humble. The scripture reads in Luke, the 14th chapter and the 11th verse, Whosoever exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. If you ask the way to the crown, it is by the cross. Only through the cross can you ever receive a crown. And that means, dearly beloved, living a life that is exemplified, directed by the cross of Christ. The cross that was set on Calvary is a cross that you and I must bear. For we look upon that cross and we recognize that cross and we understand that cross as being Jesus' cross that brought ultimately salvation to a dying world. But one thing we have to recognize about that cross is that when we receive the cross that God has given to you and I, only through it can we be exalted into the level that God has called us into. So if I desire to be exalted, it is the way of the cross. It is the way of humbling myself under the mighty hand of God that He might exalt me in due time. Then, the beloved, sometimes we want exaltation before the cross. That's what the world acts for. They want to be exalted. They want to be crowned. They want to be looked upon as something special. But as a believer, there is nothing special about us except for what we believe and whom we trust in. That's what makes us special. Some people believe that they're special because of the color of their skin. Some people believe that they're special because of the bank account that they have accrued through the years. They believe because of their family tradition or their family tree or because of their religious denomination. It makes them special in the sight of God. Dearly beloved, it doesn't. The only thing that makes you special in the eyes of the Father is that you have accepted His Son. You have accepted the paid price of the debt of His Son is what makes you special. But in your own self, there is no specialness about you or I whatsoever. For our, filth, for our righteousness according to the word of God is as filthy rags. So how can I be exalted in my filthiness? By accepting the cross of Christ. By recognizing the cross of Christ. Can I be special in the eyes of the Father? Because then, now, I am not only called a person or a human being. But I am called a child of the Father. So there is a great distinction between one who is a child of the Father and one who is a child of the world. But the only way to be exalted is through being humble. God bless you today and keep you.